we pause here, um, kind of end where we began. I made some comments in the beginning about 9-11, and we're all going to be doing things tomorrow to further commemorate that, and it's, it's appropriate that we do that today. Let me remind you of this. Um, there's so much that went on 10 years ago tomorrow that we think of. Um, I think the was story, I think a man named Scott Beaver, I don't know if you remember him. He was a guy that was on Flight 93. And uh, Tower 1 and Tower 2 had already been hit, the Pentagon had already been hit, and cell phones were flying, and those of you that are watching the programs like I have along with my family in the last couple of days are seeing all the details of how that story unfolded. It was determined that the folks on Flight 93 uh, just outside of, in Pennsylvania knew that they were on a flying, uh, essentially a flying bomb. The terrorists had taken it over. The country was under attack. The president had been informed. All the, the wheels had been turned into motion to turn us into a defensive mode. But these people were on that flight, and they knew what the story was. They didn't know they were headed. They knew they had turned around and were headed back to Washington somewhere. We now know they were headed for the nation's capital, Congress. It was a, a group of Americans, a group of um, faithful Americans that hatched a plan in the middle of that airplane, in the back of it, if you heard the story. They put together a plan and they said, we will not be used by terrorists today. America's been damaged, America's under attack. Phil, I so appreciate your songs that you sang and the, the commemoration of, of, of the thing. The songs have been written are wonderful. We did take a sucker punch to the back and then we came running back. And King started to come back that day. Americans on Flight 93 said, not us, not today. So Scott Beamer, along with his friends, they hatched a plan to take over that plan. As you know all the story, the last thing he said was, Lord, before they took that plane back and ultimately crashed in to the field out, out, outside Shanksville, Pennsylvania, they said, let's roll. So I say to you today, fellow Americans, what do we do? Here we are 10 years later. We've made some advances, we've gone to war, we've won many respects that, we're still at war. There's still people in this world that hate us deeply and hate what we stand for. I was reviewing the words of President uh, Bush's speech at the time, how those attacks were designed to throw us into chaos and cowardice. They failed. They maybe shook the foundations of our buildings, but they did not shake the resolve, the foundation and the resolve of our nation. They maybe bent our steel, but they did not bend our will. So where do we go from today? We've had a good time playing polo. We've done some wonderful things. I urge you to go out there. And as one who goes to battle for you at the state capitol every day, I encourage you, be Americans. That's what we are. Stand tall. Don't give up the fight. Our, our cause is just. It was General Boykin who said, the founder of the, the, uh, the Delta Force, who, who on this topic said, as Americans, we know our justice cause. We are on the right side of this battle. That's why we're Americans. That's why we will not give up. That's why we will not surrender. And I urge the same to you. You entrepreneurs out there, keep dreaming the dream. We need that. We need to turn this economy around, and it's you folks that are going to do it. Those of you that go to work every day, that are raising families, continue to do so. Raise Americans, because that's who we are. Our cause is just, and we will not surrender.